to Lenny Kravitz and Cheryl Crow. Lenny Kravitz and Cheryl Crow on the show, so fantastic. Hey, welcome back. At the end of the show, we're going to get up very close and personal with the new gladiators. Yes. Yeah. Time now for my next guest. Now, one of them is the man-eating heart surgeon they call Connie the Barbarian. And the other is an adrenaline junkie who's the father of Connie's child. It'll all, all come clear in a minute. They star in Tuesday night's big hit show, Holby City. And on Sunday, they won the big award at Sunday night's BAFTAs. Please welcome Amanda Meeling and Tom Chambers! <laughs> Hey, how cool is that coming out of the TARDIS? Oh, do you know what? My boys are going to be so excited and they're going to be so upset because they, they wanted to come down today. That's right, because you, got, you know Paul really He's well, godfather to the boys and being with you here and coming oh. up the TARDIS, they're going to be so upset. Oh, no. Mama is going to be <laughs> off the list. So how long have you known Paul then? Oh, God, about 15 years. Really? When did you meet him? 17 years. We did a play together. Really? We did a play together called Elegies for Angels, Punks and Raging Queens. Who do you think the Raging oh, Queen was? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, back to Holby and so, Sunday night, congratulations yeah, on the best look. Did you? Hold it up. Yeah. yeah. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? That's not really heavy. Yeah. It's only really taken heavy. ten years. Yeah, is it, uh, yeah. Was it the first time you'd been to a, a BAFTA do? Because I know it's not the first no. time Holby had been nominated. This is the fourth time we've been nominated. Right. Um, no, I've been to a couple. I went with the year that um, Paul won it for, for this show. OK. I went with him as his guest. So I've been a couple of times. Oh, what's, how, how do you feel about them sort of nights? Because I know when I've been to them, I just sit there going, oh, look, there's Dame Judy oh, Dench. Yes. <laughs> no, Did no, you do no, that? no. Oh, my God, she was with? there. She was oh, yeah. there. I mean, everyone was there. And, you know, you've been yeah. working for years and you know everyone and, you know, it's fine. But Judy Dench was there. I was starstruck when I met Judy Dench. Well, so was I, and I love her. I, yeah. I just everything about the woman is fantastic. And apparently on set she is, re she really mischievous, and I yeah. love that about her. Yeah. So there I was at the post kind of dinner and mm -hmm. post uh, awards dinner, and I had this, and I was walking along, and suddenly I don't know why, because of this maybe, I plucked up the courage to go up to her. I don't do that. I don't go up to people. Did you go up and say I something? I know. Oh, Dame Judy Dench, I, I, I'm. I really love you. <laughs> I really love you. And she just looked at me and just went, Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, OK, I'm going to go sit down now. <laughs> so, sorry, back to your characters then. So, your we, character, so he's, he's the father he's of... He's the father your, child, yeah. and they have... Connie's kind of power-hungry, and the only thing she didn't have was a, a child. So, she looked, scanned around who would be yeah. the best kind of candidate, so he was chosen. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have quite a tempestuous relationship, don't well, we? Well, we're just continually fighting. I mean, maybe it's the Geminis in us as well, although I don't know if we are that in character, but... Well, yeah, we we seem to be fighting non-stop, but that's, that's the joy. But there again, yeah, we do, we do, uh, the characters do fight a lot, but when we had, you know, those kind of love kind of scenes, we had to reshoot a week later mm. because they said it was too steamy. And so have the characters got together now? They got well, together, they had a time. No, no. Are you allowed to say? They won't tell us, because I'm useless. I can't keep my mouth shut. Yeah, how, how, how far ahead do you shoot? I mean, what, what have we seen? Three months. Three months. Mm. And so, what are you shooting at the moment? Are you allowed to say? Mm, mm, not really. It's top secret. Yeah. Not really. Oh, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. it's just lots of intrigue. And well, I think I think she's moving on. Really, I, I, personally, with Sam, there's the connection, but uh, Sam being the village, the hospital bicycle. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <I think> that, <laughs> he's done everyone. He's been there, done that. Terrible. So now it's. Uh, but now I think you're. You're. I think you're doing. You're up to something. Yeah, because you're. Because your on. character has one of the the toughest operations. Was it doing the double? Yeah, uh, yeah, double heart. Uh, double. Operation. What was that like filming something like that? It's quite intriguing. I mean, over the years, I've, I've, I've really. I mean, someone said to me the other day, if someone had an accident or heart attack, would you? What, but would you? Would you seriously? Do you know what? The worst thing is, I think I actually could do something. Really? <laughs> yeah. Or God forbid, anyone has any kind of heart attack or heart trouble near me, I'd be out there with a knife and fork. I'd be in. <laughs> But is, it, but is it important as do you, do, you, do you sort of like do your research as a, an actress because you feel it's yeah. important to do it, or do you think maybe you know you blag it as the character? This and stuff maybe... you can't. Really? This stuff because it's so technical, the medical stuff. You need to be aware of what you're, you're, you're talking about. You need to know, the, you know, that you know, 
left you bench shown, pulled or whatever. You know, you there's always a, there's always a medical advisor. There's always a, a surgeon on the set. But we had training at the heart hospital, didn't yeah. we? Where you actually see it for real. It's really? the most. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you want a real detached scenario trip out of this world, then seeing a real person who's they've been opened up, and you and once once their chest cavity is open, and you see the heart beating by itself. You think the heart would want to come up and go, <laughs> go like that. And, and they're cracking jokes with, to each other. Their phone's going off in the park. They've got Elvis Presley in the background. I mean, they're, they're so skilled. Mm. 17 years to get to this level. Yeah. That they just seem to make it. I don't know. You know, you think, well, I just do a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that, and, and it'll be done. But they, they seem to just have this incredible finesse.